Hi, I am Amy Wolf with National Trout Unlimited. I'm their director of abandoned mine programs and also director of the Kettle Creek Home Rivers Initiative located in north central Pennsylvania. And I've been asked to talk a little bit about the importance of watershed groups and their part and through partnerships that they establish what they can really accomplish. And so I'll speak really from my own experience in starting to uh, work at the Kettle Creek Watershed back in 1999. In uh, 1999, the Kettle Creek Watershed Association had asked Trout Unlimited to accept its watershed as a national home rivers initiative. So with me being the full-time staff, I worked with the Watershed Association and their uh, very dedicated volunteers and we work to establish a diverse group of partnerships, including local, state, and federal agencies, local academic institutions, uh, universities and colleges, and also private landowners, very important in partnerships to get their buy-in, and, uh, and some local uh, businesses as well. And since 1999, so it's going on uh, almost eight years, uh, in the Kettle Creek Watershed, we've accomplished so much. Uh, it is, we have, um, we have secured just about $3.1 million on projects for stream habitat restoration, fish habitat restoration, uh, an extensive program on landowner stewardship education, as well as abandoned mine drainage remediation. And we've accomplished a number of on-the-ground projects for all of those, particularly the fish habitat restoration in the upper part of the watershed and abandoned mine drainage remediation in the lower part of the watershed. And Trout Unlimited, building off of its success with the Kettle Creek Watershed Association and partners in the lower portion of the watershed in terms of abandoned mine drainage remediation, about two years ago in 2004, we started to build off of that success and expand our focus on abandoned mine drainage remediation in Kettle Creek to cover the entire West Branch Susquehanna River Basin, which is unfortunately home to over 1,100 miles of streams impacted by abandoned coal mines. And uh, it's just, it is amazing what watershed groups can do. And so we are now working with over a dozen watershed associations and other stakeholder groups throughout the West Branch, uh, including watershed associations, TU chapters, and many other partners on this comprehensive restoration initiative for the West Branch. And two of the projects we have on the, uh, going on right now is we are working with the Susquehanna River Basin Commission with funding in part provided by the DEP and DCNR and also the RK Mellon Foundation. Uh, the Susquehanna River Basin Commission is developing a comprehensive strategic remediation plan for the entire West Branch Susquehanna River Basin focused on abandoned mine drainage to characterize and categorize and basically prioritize the AMD problem areas throughout the West Branch. But it's important not only to have that science-based information and those science-based restoration plans, but we also really need to remember to reach out to our local decision makers, to our county commissioners, and to um, our political spokespersons in terms of what the economic benefits of restoration is going to mean uh, to local communities, to the region as a whole, and to the Commonwealth as well. So, uh, and to accomplish that, we have secured the services of a private consulting firm to develop an economic benefit analysis that will go hand in hand with the strategic remediation plan for the West Branch. So we'll not only know where we need to focus our efforts, but when we go to ask and seek the big dollars, which it is estimated at between 250 to 500 million dollars it will take to restore water quality throughout the West Branch in terms of AMD, um, we really need to show the benefits in terms of what it will mean to boosts for our economy. So getting the economists involved and having those economic benefit studies done uh, is also very, very important. And um, so we're just looking forward to uh, a West Branch Susquehanna River Basin, especially the upper headwaters. It's very impacted by mine drainage. We're looking forward to it to being a very different, I'm going to say in, in 15 years from now and I'm very optimistic about it. Thank you.